The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the cult horror film classic that spawned a hell of a lot of sequels, prequels, remakes and reboots over the years, but I paid a visit to the original 1974 film. Uh, it stars Marilyn Burns, Gunnar Hansen as Leatherface and is the directorial debut of Tobe Hooper. The story is that five friends, whom I'm going to describe as the generic good girl, the generic good guy, the slutty girl, and a guy who looks exactly like Ray Manzarek, the Doors keyboardist. Yeah, it looks like he's just stepped off on groovy disco floor in 1969. And uh, yeah, then he gets clobbered with a sledgehammer and has his limbs cut off with a chainsaw by, le by Leatherface. Spoilers. The other guy is handicapped and in a wheelchair. They're all out in the Texan countryside visiting one of their grandparents, but uh, they find themselves being terrorised and hunted down by an insane family of cannibals, uh, including the, in the demented chainsaw wielding Leatherface, who wears a face mask made up of decomposed human flesh. Yeah, this film gets bizarre. Anyone who hasn't seen any of these Texas Chainsaw films, including myself, before I saw any of them, would probably hear the titles and see the posters and assume that it's, they're basically just films about a group of, of suckers being hunted down by a nut with a chainsaw. But in actual fact, there is a lot more creepy psychological stuff in these movies that gets you on a really sort of psychological level. I've said before um, in my Baba Duk review that uh, horror films they need, to, they need to be able to get you on a psychological level. They're, they can't just be full of gore and slashes and loud noises and whatnot. I saw the 2003 remake with Jessica Biel before I saw this, and to be honest, I think that's a much better horror film in general. Uh, it looks great on Blu-ray too. It's not until the last 30 minutes of this original one that it becomes anything more than a generic slasher flick, whereas the 2003 one had so much creepy weirdness going on all throughout and Leatherface himself, the chainsaw guy, is really just a small aspect of what happened in that film. All the all the really all the really scary stuff was sort of revolving around this crazy cop played by Ali Ermi and these creepy old women that lived in a caravan in the forest. All this was greatly enhanced by very good use of cinematography and lighting in the 2003 one. I just found this original one a little dull in comparison, and to be honest, it feels like it was made for really stoned people. There's a bit where they pick up this crazy hitchhiker and this really long, drawn-out scene that just goes nowhere, where they're, they're all just staring at this hitchhiker as he rambles and rants about all this weird crap. And there's a few more very pointless, sort of, stoner conversations throughout, and as well as a kind of unwelcome experimental vibe. But I can understand why it's a cult classic. The last 30 minutes definitely had the creepy bizarreness down pat, and the ending was also very bizarre. Uh, this film was actually banned uh, like after it came out. It was banned for about seven years, so like not until 1974 it came out. So not until 1981, 82 did it sort of, was it widely available to the public? The performances are alright, I guess, um, but I just wouldn't consider it a terribly important or memorable horror film. Uh, not, not really in this day and age, anyway. Thank you for watching, guys, and as always, why not subscribe to this channel to hear my thoughts on a nice wide variety of films, find out what you should and shouldn't be checking out, and that just about wraps up this review. I'll see you next time.